Historically, uh, this region had a very, very large population of Atlantic sturgeon, and that has since decreased dramatically. This is a species that we wanted to conserve and recover, and in order to do that, we need to decrease interactions with them. We were trying to come up with a way to use big data to help these users of the bay uh, avoid the sturgeon and still get the work done that they needed to get done. The idea for this project is, is that we thought that we could use data and earth observations to kind of have both conservation and also responsible extraction of resources. Because there have been great historic observations of Atlantic sturgeon in the bay, and we have really great observations of the bay from space, we thought we could put those two things together uh, and then when we get new satellite data, we make our best prediction of where we think Atlantic sturgeon are going to be, not only in the current situation, but up to three days ahead. There are two major groups of end users for this product. One are the state regulatory agencies, and the other are the actual fishers that are out on the bay. Ultimately, the goal is to help inform the public uh, in terms of, again, the, the, the goal of sustainability and efficiency for fishery, fishing operations. Atlantic sturgeon can grow to fairly large sizes, you know, talking about something that weighs close to 400 pounds. They do a lot of damage to different gear types. This is a, a potentially beneficial product to both commercial fishermen as well as regulatory agencies. Staff from the Division of Fish and Wildlife have personally reached out to a number of commercial fishermen as well as presenting this information at the Title Fin Fish Advisory Council meetings. Every step of the process has engaged the public. So the end vision for this app is hopefully uh, much larger than just the state of Delaware. Uh, we're hoping to interact with all users of Delaware Bay, including state agencies in New Jersey. There's no reason that we cannot also generate the same kinds of observations for other species that we're concerned about, including sea turtles, shark species, striped bass. And so we, we envision a user base, hopefully a few years out, that's much larger. And we're hoping that the app gives sort of a common data framework for discussions to happen about uh, interactions with Atlantic sturgeon.